Good day, Divergence Traders. Almost lunchtime. It was long the NASDAQ for a while, and then, of course, it has to do this pullback. I just wanted it to go a little bit more, but it can't do it for me. Ah, uh, yeah. I took a profit out of it, but less than I wanted to take. Um... This is the one minute. Let me look at the five minute again. Yeah, it's a freaking mess. I'll show you this trade. This was definitely a trade. If you would have got short right in there. 15 pip stop. Went down 50, 50 points, basically. Let me make that bigger. And then, actually, I need to put it back in. There's no divergence here to buy because this is way down here. Well, it's, it's level divergence. Well, I guess I could draw it from the <laughs> from the very low of this one over to there, and you can see the little bit of space in between here. Okay, we'll, we'll mark that as a trade. Why not? It's very slight. You see, when you drag up the Osma, you can see it perfectly. That's divergence. Okay. So, if we would have got in right there, our stop would be 26 points. Did it give us 26 points there? No, 20. And it came back down and scared you. Got the 26 points there. Then, yeah, you see these wick dips. Wicky dips. See them? They don't mean jack shit here. Look how much it came back down again, you bastards. 24 points. We had we had a few trades on the one minute. Let's take a look at the one minute now. First, let me mark where is... The open, right there. We had divergence before the open. Low and lower low. Would you, would you do it? Are you brave? Do you got guts where you could do the trade? <laughs> I, I myself, no, I wouldn't do the trade. But look, it freaking worked out. It worked out. Went up 30 points and your stop was only 10. Then we came down. We had no, no uh, selling. There's no selling in here. Came down, put in a low, retracement, lower low. That's what we like to see. We like to see a low, a retracement, and a lower low, or a high, and a higher, and a retracement, and a higher high, or we like to see a double top, or a double bottom. Look at that, just coming right back down again. Them schmookas. You schmookas. Al's a schmooka. Al is the algo. The algo guy. Okay, let me show you these these hidden, what I call hard to see, divergence trade setups. Okay, there's one there. That's divergence. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, we put an arrow on there, right on the opening of that candle, and it went up 53 freaking points right there. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it is. I thought I saw another trade here to here to here. Didn't I? On the one minute. Oh, I think I know. I know how I drew it. Like this. I know. 
It's not, it didn't come down here and make a perfect double bottom. Never really does. But look, it's only 4 point. It's only like five points from making a perfect double bottom. Do you see what I mean? You can't be perfect in this market because they want to trick you. Every given second, they want to freaking trick you. Okay? So if we got in there, yeah, it went up about 55. Okay. That was a good trade. And let me just show you a couple of these babies right there. Lower close, buy it up, it goes. Lower close, buy it up, it goes. Zero drawdown right there. Boom. How much did you make on this one? Like 18 points. Potential. That doesn't mean you're going to make 18 points. And this one went up like 30 points. Okay. Those are my lower close, buy it up it goes. And then we have the higher close, sell it, down it goes. Yes. Like right here. Here, let me show you. Right there. Higher close, oh no, wrong, wrong candle, sorry. It's this one. You gotta wait for this candle to close. The bull candle, when the five is below the seven, yeah. Higher close, near the five, sell it, down it goes, okay? Max potential on that one was 12 points. Now, if you really want to see them much clearly, you just make your chart as big as it can be, and you trade the candles. Like this one, higher close, right there when that candle opened, boom, sell it, and down it goes. It's so like right here, when this candle opened, boom, buy it, up it goes. Boom, buy it, up it goes. Okay, my loud voice, I think we're all awake now. <laughs> okay. Let's get on with this. Even if we discounted, right here, ladies and gentlemen, we, 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 we got, we discounted this big, you know, stop hunt or whatever, quick, you know, drop and then back up and then right here, see, from here, 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 and here, see, it's like a double, oh, I forgot to draw the frickin' bottom, Jason, you keep doing that, mode Z, there it is, that's the divergence, ladies and gentlemen, that is your entry, Yeah, and here's the divergence here. That is the entry, and up it goes. Um, yeah, this is the trade bef before the, or, no, this is the open right here. We we'll did this rally up wick thing right in here. Yeah, then we came down and we did our lower lows. Buy it, up it goes. And that's it. Okay. That's it for the NASDAQ. Spent a lot of time on that, eh? Yeah, Mode Z. Let's see what's on the five minute here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a perfect one. Oh, not a perfect one, but it's, it's showing the same thing how... How nothing is perfect in this world. Not me, not you, nothing. Well, they're coming pretty close with some measurements, you know, high precision out by a millimeter or an eighth, you know, if they're making a car part or something, they can make that almost perfect. But when it comes to trading on charts and thinking you're God's gift to the world <laughs> or something like that, nobody's perfect. Okay, let's get on with this right here. Low and lower low. And I've said it many times before. When you see a big valley 
And then just a little red doodah right there. See that little doodah? It's screaming at you to buy it. That's what it's doing. I've been staring at this freaking indicator. Asma. Yes. For like 12 years. And I've seen it repeat and repeat and repeat. And do all these same things. Why is that? Well, because it's an algorithm. Yeah. So, if you jumped in, I don't think you got what you were looking for here. Stop would have been uh, five points. It only delivered four and a half points. Say you didn't get your target. But I think when it, when it came up to this freaking main pivot level, if you have this thing it's in my course you'll know not to, uh you know not to mess with that to take your profit and run and then what do we have up here selling off of the main pivot oh we have another one do i even need to draw it come on you schmuck good enough good enough good enough Nothing's perfect. And we got to sell right here at the end of the UK session. Right there. Sell it. And you've done well. you got 10 points. Then we had a low, a retracement, and not a lower low, <laughs> not a double bottom, but close enough. Close enough. Once it, it, it shot up in here above the moving averages, you know you were good to go to buy that sucker. You know what I mean? So you can just draw it from here to here. Ah, come on. You hooligan. There, good enough. And you discount this part. It's just went a little bit too much on that side. But yeah, if it came down here, put in a double bottom or a lower low, it'd be perfect to go. But nothing's perfect. So you can count that. You, you you can't count it down here. Can't say, oh, I'm going to buy now down here. You got to wait, you know, for the other confirmations. And I, the one confirmation, I talk about it all the time. When the five crosses back up above the seven, okay, and the candle hopefully closes back up above these two EMAs, five and the seven, okay, then... You, you got it. You, you got the signal. You got it saying, hello, mother Fookers. It's time to buy. So if you would have bought right there and your stop was right here, S&P four-point stop, it went up 24 points, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. La-di-da. And what did the Dow do today? Oh, the Dow did a little shaking. Shaking the bacon right here. Or shake and bake. You ever eat shake and bake? <laughs> I'm sure some of you have. Barbecue flavor. Oh, yeah. You, you have a bag and you put the, the shake and bake spice in the bag. Then you, then you, I don't know, you wet your chicken or you put it in milk. Put it in the bag and you shake it. And then you bake it. <laughs> oh, shit. I got to pause the video. I got to get more water. All right. I'm back. Okay, so we don't have a buy here, but we have one right here. Let me show you. Even though it doesn't look like there's one there, there's one there. Right there like that. Who says you have to draw it to the next valley? You don't have to. Not according to my rules. <clears throat> you can draw it as long as you get the confirmation over here. <coughs> The filter passes with with flying gold stars, then it's good to go. Then you're good to go. Uh, let me show you. On the opening of that candle, it would have got in. Okay. And just like that. Okay, now. 
right here. It's another uh, one of my little scalper traits. Lower close, close to the five. Buy it, up it goes. Look at that, man. 108. Yeah, yeah, it's Dow. Yeah, 108 pips or points or ticks potential. Then we had a nice lower close candle. That isn't the one we want because it needs to be near the five. Okay, so right here, see that little uh, star or spin top or whatever the hell you want to call it? That's what we're looking for. That's it. That's the little bugger we're looking for. And we would have got long right there, right in here, after these two little red candles. And it went up 27 points. And then we had another one right here. See it? I see it. Lower close on the opening of the next candle. Buy it. And up it freaking goes. 55 points. And that's it. That's it for the oh, itchy head. Damn lot, lime in the water here. I think we live in the lime capital of the world. Okay, let's the pound. What did the pound do today? Oh, look at that beautiful setup on the five minute too. Low. Retracement. Lower low. Okay. There's the divergence. <clears throat> so you would have got long. <coughs> Excuse me. Right there. Stop would be 20 pips. You got your 20 pips right there. 20 minutes later, you got your 20 pips. <laughs> okay. Um, there's also quite a few, you know. This, is, this doesn't count. This is not a buy by the dip trade. Um, anyway, a little messy here today to be scalping. Holy sheep shit. But anyway, you got this one and it went up. You know, like I said, it went up like, oh no, I didn't say, I didn't measure it. Went up 87 pips on the pound dollar. Yeah, they just love to do the switcheroo trick. One day you'll, you'll try and trade the pound. It doesn't go anywhere. It goes sideways, chops up and down like a fucking yo-yo. Then the next day it trends 100 fucking pips from the bottom to the top. They there, see? 100, 106 pips. You have no idea how many times since 2005. September 2005, to be honest with you. Where I've seen the euro or the pound move basically 100 points. You want to know why? Because when it's down here, some guy, I don't know the guy, okay? Let's call him Frank. Frank calls up George and says, buy now. We'll take it. We'll take it 100 pips later. We'll, we'll cash out. That's what I think is going on. Whether it's... Whoever runs this show is doing it, or the exchange is doing it. Somebody's fucking doing it. It's a rigged game, ladies and gentlemen. It's just the same thing. It's the same fucking thing as going to the casino. Because they're always playing a new trick on you to make money. That's what they're doing. But if you love it, you keep doing it, right? <laughs> Okay, what do we have here? I don't know, lower lows, but no, there's no, there's no trade here. But I will show you the scalp trades. Beautiful scalp trades on the euro. Holy tamale, look at this, man. Non-stop. Holy tamole. This one doesn't count. First trade. 
11 pips potential second trade. If you if you got out in the close, it was five. If you waited for the next one, it was 11. And then the next trade, you got six pips maximum on that. Yeah, so there they are. Here's another one. Went up 13 pips. Here's another one up here. Okay. If you bought on the close of that candle, went up 22 pips. Let's take a look at the pound yen now. Wow. That's a double top if I ever did see one. Hey, it's almost perfect. Hey, Modzi. Modzi Tabernak. Here's a, a low and lower loan divergence. See, remember I told you on the right side, if if the valley is very, very shallow compared to the deep ocean on this side, it's screaming at you to buy it. And it was right, too. So if you bought it right there, it went against you a little bit, 12 pips, but your stop would have been down here, 18 pips. And it went up 65 pips. Let me draw that for you now, eh? I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Sorry about that. And, uh, yeah, would have gone in right there. That does not count for a scalp trade. That does not count for a scalp trade. This one does, though. Okay. Right on the opening of that candle, on the close of this one, opening of this one, buy it there, goes up 17 points. You see this one right here? It doesn't count. Why? Because it closed below, below the moving averages, and the next one opened below the moving averages, so it doesn't count. Even though it was a good one, went up like 30 points, okay? Then we had double top. Perfect double top. Woo! Almost double top. And right there. Like that. And we got short. Right here. Stop was 19 pips. Looking at the pound yen now. Went down 40. There's your 2 to 1 win loss ratio. And then we had... Hard to see divergence, okay? Just like that. We got long right there. Stop was 21 pips. Did we get 21? Oh, yeah, we got it. We got it. Woohoo! We got it just by the skin of something. Okay, let's take a look at the Euro Yen. Look at that, eh? Another double top. Look at this, right here. And of course, the double top up here. Come on. There. Good enough. Look at that. I can't even click on this stupid. There we go. Oh, it's he got my neck. Okay. This doesn't perfectly line up, but you can see it. See right there. Oh, I guess it does line up. There you go. Okay. With a bot right here. On a dip or, or up here. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. So, stop would have been 8 or 9 pips. And it went up 17 pips to there. Then we had a double top. Put the frickin' line on there first, Jason. Right here. See? Another one screaming. Screaming at you right here. The bigger mountain and the more the smaller one to the, to sell. Question is, where would you sell, right? I wouldn't wait till all the way down here. I would I would at least sell it just below this major support crap right here. This is a pile of crap. They proved they are going to take it down here 
when they when they sunk this huge candle how many pips is it? it's not huge but for the year for the euro yen it's huge 20 20 pips right once they showed you this that was the proof that we we're gonna go to here or here or even down here okay and that's exactly what it freaking did so let's say we got short right there and our stop was 18 pips well, it went down 56 pips. You would have got your uh, two to one win loss ratio. Okay. So, our first little, uh, oh, that stupid thing. I, I click on it by mistake there to draw it, to write some words in it. Because uh, it's right beside the button I need. Okay. Where is it? That's right here. Right there. Is there another one? Oh, yeah, there's two more. And right there. Oh, yeah. This is the zone, a nice wide zone. You see the zone? The space between the five and the seven. Yes. Um, one more. See them beautiful trades, ladies and gentlemen. Higher close, sell it. Down it goes, 14 points. Higher close right here. Um, very small one, but still is a higher close, and it's close to the five. Higher close, sell it. Down it goes, 14 pips again. And then the third one right here. Higher close, not by much. <laughs> but anyway, if you sold it, it went down like 20 points. Gotta love those trades, eh? With the with the fist, with the thumbs up and the thumbs down. Oh yeah, look at that man! Look at how beautiful that is. That's like that's like a Picasso. Yeah, it's almost divergence over here, but the doodahs. Well, hold on. Let me let me stretch up the chart. Yeah, there is. <laughs> There's divergence to sell up here. It didn't go far, only 13 pips. Because this little doodah is higher than these doodahs, see? Let me show ya. You see that now? That's how close you have to look at this to see, <laughs> to see if it's divergent or not. Huh? Mode Z? Yes. And right here, high and higher, high, see? So you would have sold right here, just like that. If you held on, 17 pips down to here. Your stop was 13 pips. You would have got your one to one. Son of a gun. There, there it is. Let's take a look at gold. Oh yeah, of course, of course, of course. Gold goes on a terror up. Are you guys having fun yet? <laughs> I'm not finished. I'm almost finished. <laughs> oh, shit. This will be quick. I'll make this quick. Okay, mode C. Hard to see hidden divergence, ladies and gents. And you would have bought right there. That's it. Your stop would only be like 35 points, and it went up uh, 160 points. Yeah. And here's a lower close, buy it up, it goes. You see it? Just show you one. I'm sure you, 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 caught, you caught on to my, you know, my language of how I explain it and how you trade it. I don't know how brave you are to, to, to buy it after you can see two big red candles, but that's how you do it. That, that is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Crazy. Where did oil go? Oh, isn't that a weird... Look at that weird thing. 
That's a teacup. <laughs> yeah, that's a teacup. That's a flipping teacup. I don't see any divergence here, do you? Well, maybe, kind of, if you took it to the bodies, to the wick. If you imagine it in your head. Like that. And like this. See? But what really confirms it, ladies and gentlemen, is the moving average crossing up, the five crossing up above the seven, the, a candle closing above both of them, if possible. And I won't tell you the third thing. It's in my course. Pick yourself up a copy. It'll be the best freaking trading course you've ever bought. And the most simple and easy to, to, to you know, to decipher what's going on. 57 points on oil right to there. And the stop would have been 57, so you would have got your one-to-one. -one. Yeah, it's only a 40-page manual with some videos. That's it. But anyway, uh, that's up to you. I know, I know a lot of you have bought indicators and trading courses before. So have I. A long time ago when I started, I did too. Okay? But I, I'm... I'm assuring you, this is the best one out there. I am not kidding you. And it's not $600. It's $77. So there you go. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it for today. That's the show. That's the end of the show. Are you happy? <laughs> okay. You guys have a good trading day. If you're, you're still trading, be careful. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Good luck. Good trading.